Now I met with another specialist of the team of doctors of Dr. Adel Katena in Kuwait in his clinic for cosmetic and aesthetic surgery. It is Dr. Ahmed Youssef Abdelal from Cairo, Egypt, and uh, he is the head of the department for dermatology and lasers. Good evening, Dr. Ahmed. How are you? Fine. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you too. My name is Ernesto. I am the expert manager of Archer Laser Germany. And uh, I would like to ask some questions. First, of course, we would like to know a little bit about yourself. What are you doing? And we know also already that in this clinic, among other indications, surgeries, you are doing hair transplantations and stimulation of hair growth by using laser. In this case, the photonic hair from RJ Laser Germany. Please, Dr. Arnold. Just like you mentioned, I'm uh, the head of department of dermatology and lasers, and I'm one of the team working for the hair transplantation. We are a team from both of plastic surgeons and dermatologic surgeons too, and I'm responsible for the pre-operative evaluation for the patient being chosen for uh, hair transplantation. Uh, we are doing here this uh, evaluation, pre-operative evaluation, to uh, check whether these patients are good candidates for hair transplantation or not because whenever we are doing hair transplantation, we should check do we have cases, for example, in androgenetic alopecia, are these cases progressive cases or are they stationary? In cases of progressive uh, androgenetic alopecia, we have to use the lasers to uh, help us with stopping this hair loss as uh, soon as we can and to minimize the hair being lost from the patient uh, so that we are completing uh, and upgrading the case when we are doing the hair transplantation later and moving hair from the oxford to the frontal or parietal area and the patient will finally find something more okay but if we if he keep losing the hair like a progressive case here he will lose some and we will put him some so the final will be like no and here comes lasers that sounds very interesting dr ahmed the next question is how do you implement laser for example in that case photonic hair laser from rj laser germany in case of hair loss? Uh, first, we evaluate our patients uh, whether uh, these patients uh, do have this progressive uh, status of genetic alopecia or uh, other cases like postpartum telogen flovium, other patients of cicatricial alopecia. So, generally, those patients who are evaluated by progressive androgenetic alopecia, either males or females, are the candidates, perfect candidates for uh, the laser hair treatment and also the patient suffering from the regular hair loss but in extensive cases where you can save a lot of hair. Okay. Hair lasers works with the patient who are suffering of acute status and, and severe hair loss during the time of hair loss. Okay. But if you are facing a case that has hair loss finished since some time ago, hair lasers will not work a lot. Okay. These patients whom I'm speaking about with the progressive status are good patients that you can make the hair lasers like two times per week, okay, for three months, for example, and then you reevaluate the case using the foliscope and the triposcope, where you can count how many hairs are, there are a status of um, the telogen and how many hairs are in the allergen phase and so, and you can find and show the patient also how lasers serve them. Okay, so we generally recommend it like three months. Okay, in such progressive cases before the hair transplantation and uh, also we use the hair laser immediately after uh, the hair transplantation and we can keep the patients later on this for patients with chronic hair loss problems for example and for patients also with the androgenic alopecia as I mentioned before because lasers here will serve with them to do something for long term not only for short term prevention of hair loss but the point is that we do like some sort of initiation dosage of the laser twice per week and uh, after some time we can make it like once per week and at the end for the patients with chronic problems we can make it up to like once every two weeks. I have another question for you Dr. Ahmed, thank you very much. Um, do you have more women or more men who consult your clinic for actually, life and so Actually we have both, we have both of them and we can say that they are like uh, 40% of uh, females, 40% uh, females, 60% males. Mm -hmm. Males are taking care of their hair a lot, yes. okay, and uh, they believe in the hair transplantation, okay, more than women, yes. and they are uh, much more brave to take the decision for the hair transplantation, actually. This mm -hmm. is another point for them. Interesting. So, 
Yes. And uh, do you have more hair transplantations or more hair growth stimulations? Okay. Of course, we do have more hair growth stimulation because if we, we can say that we have a rate of like around 300 patients coming here for uh, the hair loss treatments in general, and you can find out the 300, like 40, okay, 300 per um, so month, okay, per month, per month, okay, okay. and like 30 to 40 may go to the hair transplantation pro pro process, and the others will start hair loss treatments, which varies from topical to uh, mesotherapy injections, to using the manoxidals, to using the hair laser, of course, which we serve to all the patients. That sounds uh, really very interesting, Dr. Ahmed. And uh, what do you know to say about the acceptance, the tolerance of your patients when we're talking about laser therapy? I find this acceptance like 100% because hair lasers are different from other lasers that you never have side effect, you never have pain, okay? you never have something like headache or so. You are doing a procedure that you can do, I, I, I usually say this phrase to my patients, you can go serve the act while you are having your hair laser, you can make a phone call, you can read a magazine, and this never happens with other, hair, with other laser treatments in general, if I was speaking about resurfacing lasers, for example, or uh, other uh, lasers doing in uh, for veins or liposuction. Or Very good. Coming to the end of our interview, would you like to give an advice to other hair transplantation centers, let's say, in a short phrase so that uh, uh, we can take this home and say, okay, we should follow what this clinic in Kuwait of Dr. Adel Katena is doing and what Dr. Ahmed Yusuf Dalal, for example, is recommending because of his experience and as I learned, you are doing since a couple of years more than thousand hair transplantations and uh, uh, growth stimulations, so that means that is uh, a large number, isn't it? Right. Yes. Uh, what I like to recommend for others, and according to my experience within this field for the last five years, I see that we can implement uh, the hair laser and uh, topical treatments together for the patients who are candidate for the hair transplantation. We never we have a progressive case, okay? Because patients who have progressive case with uh, hair loss, when they are doing the hair transplantation and they come back for you after like one year, they may accuse you of that your hair, that the hair that you transplanted are not coming out, are not growing, while they already do have it coming out. But the point is that they are losing other hair, okay? So they don't feel the difference. They have like plus 10 and then minus 10, so the final is equal zero. zero. Okay, so here we just teach the patient, we are upgrading you. We are changing the point that those that you will lose, we will keep it, okay? Plus, we will transplant other hair for you, mm -hmm. so the final will be positive, okay? Yes. So here is a very, very important point for the transplantation in progressive cases, and they, actually there are a lot of progressive cases, many ladies and many of the men come here very early, like 25 and 27 years, 30 years, to tell you I'm losing too many hairs, I'm losing too many hairs. These cases are the cases that you should be very, very cautious while you are doing the hair transplantation, take care of the hair being lost. Very good. Dr. Ahmed, thank you very much for this interview. I wish you success thank you. and always happy patience. Thank you very much. And uh, good evening. Bye-bye. Thank bye. you.